Sometimes in sumo, it pays to be a foreigner. Here you see coach Kokonoi taking pains to prepare Ukrainian Shishi for his first ever salt throws, required today to slow down the pace of the Division 3 schedule. His opponent, Tsukahara, being Japanese, is expected to know the protocol and receives no such explanation. Thus, when it's their turn to actually do it, Tsukahara is the one who blunders. Because lower division wrestlers, regardless of nationality, are simply told to learn as they do. As for the bout itself, Shishi's first outside Tokyo, A convincing Ukrainian win, despite a thickly taped toe. Another protocol being learned on the spot is the new one on concussion, launched only this spring in response to incidents like this. Little surprise then that it was called into action after this man's bout. Only the huge back blocking the camera prevents this clip from being certified 18. At least four uppercut thrusts landed by Takagenji. Yet still, brave Enho dove under the artillery and did enough to convince the referee he'd won. But as he stepped down with bloody nose, it was clear this was no mere contact lens trouble. Enho told the ring attendants he felt slightly concussed. Thus, when the replay failed to separate them and a rematch was called, coach Edagawa motioned for Enho to stop. In line with the new protocol, a second Dohyo conference was called, and Enho deemed unfit to continue. The little man seemed not to agree, and appeared to berate attendants for miscommunicating his condition to the judges. Fans who longed for the good old days also shouted disapproval, but this stumble suggests maybe it was for the best. And we hoped that would be the only appearance of the wheelchair. Before we see it again, let me just update you on wrestlers who did not compete today. Akiseyama's rewired jaw is not yet ready for action, and he looks set to miss the entire event, and in his home prefecture too. However, Takayasu, who was ruled out last minute, will be returning on day three for a match with Ichinojo, presumably to try and eke out the ten wins which would carry over his Ozeki run to September. A couple of the day's best bouts for you now. Enho's giant stablemate Hokuseiho is in quite a feud with Saitama Sakai man Shiba. Here they fight for the third tournament straight with honours even thus far. Shiba's about the only foe prepared to lift him, and he even plotted a pivot throw at the rope. But the inside left, outside right, combined with awesome downward leaning pressure, ensured the two meter Mongol triumphed. Meanwhile, this bout here, as you may know, featured two men who officially debuted against each other in 2011 Aoyama and Chiyoshoma.
And that slingshot style pull and release put Shoma 5 4 up in their official rivalry. Now for the day's regrettable news. From the gestures at ringside and the NHK comments, we fear either shoulder damage or, not for the first time against Ichinojo, a severe neck strain. Keisho's right shoulder looked awkwardly bent here. No word as yet on whether he'll withdraw. All we know for now is that he iced the injured region before heading to hospital. For Ichinojo, a first Ozeki scalp since September 2019. The day's final match saw Hakuho out to extend his unbeaten 2021 record to four, with all those winning processes in mind. Again, his versatility shone, starting with the closest he'll get to an extended arm charge, then thrusting to ward off Endo's frontal right before locking the arm that came too near. Note too how Endo felt a leftward dart would force the injured right knee into a difficult turn. Hakuho's sublime diagonal stance ensured no turning was needed. Dai Eisho is next for the Seoul Yokozuna in the Day 3 finale. It's around 26 degrees here now, so not in the 30s as usual, but daytime humidity remains at 70%, making the ring a sweaty place, at least sweatier than the well air conditioned second floor. I mean, even Uda's using his towel. See you tomorrow.